Hey, what's up YouTube? In this video, I'm gonna be giving you a full tutorial on Better. Better is a new fantasy site that has launched and it's available in a ton of states, including California and Texas, which are states where regulated sports betting, FanDuel, DraftKings aren't legal, but you do have access to Better, which is a fantasy platform, which is kind of nice. So in this video, I'm gonna cover how does Better work? What's everything you need to know about this platform? I'm gonna explain the pros and cons of Better compared to their competitors, like Prize Picks and Underdog Fantasy, which are two other DFS platforms that kind of work like Better. And then I'm also gonna explain to you profitable strategies to make money on Better. How can you beat this platform consistently and make money month over month? So the first thing to mention about Better that's really nice is they have a lot of lucrative promos. So for example, when you first sign up for Better, they have a $250 no sweat entry. So basically what that means is your first play is insured up to $250. So let's say for example, you place a play for 250 bucks and it wins. Well, that's money. You can withdraw the money and never place another play on Better if you want to. But if you lose, you get your money back in site credit. So it's not cash. It's not like if your first entry loses, you can just withdraw the money and call it a day, but you get your money back in site credit. So this is obviously a no brainer promo. You win, you win, you lose, you get your money back in site credit. And that's one of the benefits of using multiple platforms, multiple sports books, is all of these books are trying to learn new customers in. So they run promos pretty consistently and Better has a pretty lucrative signup bonus, a $250 no sweat entry. Prize Picks and Underdog Fantasy, which are two other fantasy books, they only have an $100 signup bonus and it's a deposit bonus. So you put in a hundred, you get a hundred bucks for free in site credit. So the better one's actually a little, a little bigger. Now, another thing about better, a reason to use better, even if you already have prize picks and underdog, is they run a lot of promos. So basically, most days of the week, better has discounted projections. So you can see right here, you know, they're discounting Jalen Brown's line, and I included that in a play. These discounts, you can't play them for, you know, $500. They're typically for $20, but they give you a five point discount on most NBA players that you're going with. Sometimes for the NHL or MLB, they have discounts too. But you can see here, I took Jalen Brown over 17 and a half points. His regular points line was 22 and a half, and he had exactly 18 points. So my discount play won, but if I would have played the regular line, I would have lost. So these promos help you get extra value. And even if you're just playing the promos on better, sometimes they have insured entry, stuff like that, you can make pretty good money. So how does better work? So the way that better works is you create entries and you need at least two picks to make an entry. So for example, let's say we're like, wow, we love De'Aaron Fox tonight. We think he's going over 25 and a half points. Doesn't matter. You can't only play De'Aaron Fox you need to find at least two picks to go with in an entry. So let's say we like Otani. Now we can decide, do we wanna take Otani's over or under? And the way that better works, this platform's super interesting, is it doesn't matter if you select the players over or under, or honestly, any two picks you select. You could go with two baseball picks, two NBA picks, it doesn't matter at all. Any two picks you select, you're gonna get the same payout, a 3X payout, for two pick entries. So you're putting down 100 to win 300. And every pick you add, you're gonna get a juicier and juicier payout. So for example, for eight pick entries, which is the maximum amount of plays that you can go with in an entry, you get an 100X payout. So one thing I wanted to cover really quickly is I just explained on Better that two pick entries, you get a 3X payout. So two picks, you're putting down 100 to win 300. On prize picks, it's the exact same thing. Two pick entries, or a 3X payout, so you're putting down 100 to win 300. But there is a reason that ideally, you wanna use both platforms. So I use both platforms every single day, and that's because these platforms set their lines independently. So for example, one play I really liked on better was Vukovic under 11 and a half rebounds. I loved the value on that play, and I'll get into it in a bit. But if you look at prize picks, they have Vukovic's rebound line at 11, so it's lower. So if I place Vukovic under 11 and a half on better and he has exactly 11 rebounds, my play wins. He went under 11 and a half. 
But if I will, if I would have played this on prize picks under 11, and he has exactly 11 rebounds, I would have pushed. My entry would have been canceled. So these extra half points of value, it may not seem like a big difference, and sometimes it's hard to notice in the short term, but over the course of the long run, it really matters, right? You're not gonna win every single entry on better. It's about getting an edge and winning long term. All these books set their own lines. So ideally, you have access to prize picks, underdog, and better, you're using them all. And again, better runs a ton of promos every single week. So does prize picks, so does underdog fantasy. So ideally you have access and you're using all these platforms. But the next thing I wanted to mention is on better, there's all these different slip types we can go with, right? We can go with two pick entries, five pick entries, eight pick entries, and try to get that 100X payout. You can also play entries with insurance or without insurance. So insurance basically on better, for example, a five pick entry, I typically place entries that are five picks and I use insurance, which is called a dynamic play. And basically insurance means you don't have to be perfect to still make money. So for example, for a five pick entry, you can either place it without insurance or with insurance as a dynamic play. And if you go four for five, you still get a 2.5X payout. So you turn 100 into 250. So the first question is which type of slip is optimal? And you may not think it matters two pick entries versus three pick entries, but it actually really matters. So the optimal slip type on better are five or six pick dynamic entries. So you wanna play things with insurance and I'll kind of show you the math behind why that's the case. And it's really, really, really important um, because for example, on better, three pick entries are horrible they only give you a 5X payout for three pick entries. If you look at other fantasy sites like Underdog Fantasy and Dabble, they give you a 6X payout for three pick entries. Any three picks, you're putting down 100 to win 600, whereas better is a 5X payout, 100 to win 500. So it's a complete ripoff. So it actually really matters how many picks you're going with in your entries and on better, the optimal slip type, the slip types you gotta be going with are five or six pick entries. So let me show you why really briefly. And again, if this is confusing, feel free to drop any questions below. So on prize picks and on better, two pick entries, you're getting a 3X payout. You're putting down 100 to win 300. So if you compare that to sports books, right? On any sports book, if each of the legs in your parlay is minus 137 odds, then your parlay comes out to a 3X payout, plus 200 odds, putting down 100 to win 300, 200 of which is profit. So essentially, any two pick entry on better, they're giving you minus 137 juice or on prize picks on each of the legs you're going with. Now, if you compare that to five pick entries, that's a 20X payout, which is equivalent to the sports book giving you minus 122 odds, on all of the legs in a five leg parlay. So on better, five pick entries are much better than two pick entries because you're getting less juice. You're getting minus 122 implied juice on all of the legs you go with. Again, I know that's a little confusing if you're new to better or new to sports betting, but long story short, what you wanna be going with are five and six pick entries and you're essentially getting minus 121 implied juice on better. So on better, you only wanna be placing five and six pick dynamic plays. And I know a lot of people say, oh, but you win more often with two pick entries because you only need to win two picks. And it's true, you win more often, but you'll still make less money long-term, right? Two pick entries, they only give you a 3X payout. So when you win, you're turning 100 into 300 total, but only $200 profit. But anyways, let's get into profitable strategy on better. How can you beat this platform? And essentially what you wanna do, I follow a very data-driven approach to my sports gambling, is you wanna compare the lines on better to sports books. So all of these sports books are data points. Even if you don't have access to FanDuel and you're using better, you still wanna know where FanDuel is pricing their lines. So for example, one of the plays that I included in my better entry was Vukovic under 11 and a half rebounds. So if you look at all the sports books, all of these books are data points. FanDuel, it's a multi-billion dollar company. They're taking millions of dollars in bets. They have perfect models. They're really good at setting lines. And they also have access to betting volume. So FanDuel sees where profitable customers are betting and they can adjust lines accordingly. And you're gonna see all the sports books 
have Vukovic as a big favorite to go under 11 and a half rebounds. So we know his under is more likely than his over. And again, on better, if we take Vuk's over or his under, we get the same payout regardless. It doesn't matter at all. So we wanna be on his under because the sports books, the betting market, have his under heavily favored. And that's really the main strategy for beating better. That's my first tip is find value, compare the lines on better to sports books. And the betting tool that I use to do that is called the positive EV tool on odds jam. So even when better is running these promos like discounts on NBA players, you always want to be finding value. You always want to be maximizing your profit margin. And again, the best way to do that is just follow a data-driven approach, take your emotions out of it and compare the lines on better to sports books. But anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. And you know, any questions you have, feel free to drop them below.